And now moving to some stashes. This is the, for the rosters that either have deep benches or you have the IR spots, or you just, you're in a good spot and you can hang on to some upside right now. Jeff Wilson has more upside than any of the that we've talked about so far. He's my number one stash. He's 19% rostered. And I think because he's still on the IR and will be for another four to five weeks, you can get him at a discount still. You might not even have to pay for him right now, but he was 10 in total TDs last uh, in 2020 among running backs with 10 total. Uh, he led the 49ers in yards and TDs last year while everyone was hurt. Well, everyone's also hurt again right now. Trey Sermon did not look like anything special. So I think when Wilson is eligible to come back, Shanahan's already talked about how much he looks forward to having Wilson back, how much he's going to be able to help this team. And I, I've said this on multiple shows now. They get Atlanta, Tennessee, and Houston in the fantasy playoffs. All of those are top five matchups right now for running backs. So somebody's going to go berserk. And in my opinion, just like he did last year, Jeff Wilson's one of the best bets. So if you have some patience right now, you're sitting at 3-0, and maybe 2-1, and one, but a lot of points. Jeff Wilson's an amazing bench stash, especially, again, if you have the IR spot. If you need some more immediate injection of health, it's a stash because Rashad Bateman is still eligible for the IR, but he's going to practice as early as this week, might even return as early as this week. I think he's worth a nice 4 to 6% of your fab, 14% rostered. It's just like this offense is moving better through the air. Sammy Watkins has seen 25% target share in all three weeks. He's one of only five receivers to do so, but the production has been very meh. You can easily see Bateman, if he's as good as what he was looking like in the preseason, how he was hyped as a prospect, this guy is a different type of receiver than anyone they've had there in Baltimore with Lamar Jackson. I could easily see him becoming that guy at seeing that 25% target share on a week-to-week basis, and he'll do a whole lot more than what Sammy Watkins is doing right now. So I really like stashing Bateman. I think he could light the world on fire pretty quickly. Yeah, it will take a week or two for this rookie to get involved and get his legs under him, but definitely a stash that I find very intriguing. You need some tight end help. Uh, it's, uh, Schultz and, and Jarwin, you know, always nibbling each other's cheese. It seems like Schultz is kind of emerging as the dominant one at this point. He's only 3% owned, uh, 3% rostered, 10% or so of your fab. I, it might be a little aggressive. I say 5 to 6% for myself. He's run more routes than Blake Jarwin, only 78 to 77, though very tight knit. But he's seeing 70% of snaps compared to 53% as a much better blocker. He's seen 15 to 10 targets over the season. And he's also fifth overall in fantasy points per game at tight end, 13.4. I mean, he's playing really well. A lot of that's on the back end of two touchdowns this past week, having a beastly game. But 17.1% target share these last two weeks without Gallup. You know, until Gallup's back, this is going to be a streamable tight end at a position where there might be eight decent options on a week-to-week basis. So Dalton Schultz, a guy you can go out and get if desperate for a tight end. Now the man a lot of people might be here waiting for, what are the opinions of the Wolf on Josh Gordon? Only 5% rostered right now. Let's let's get this out of the way. The guy's 30 years old. He hasn't been an NFL contributor since 2013. So we haven't seen anything meaningful from this guy in nine years. He's going to be learning a new offense, timing, quarterback, you know, with Patrick Mahomes. All concerns for sure. And this is one of the more complicated schemes. There's no guarantee Josh Gordon does a damn thing. But if there's one offense that could keep me coming back for more, it's the Chiefs. It's Pat Mahomes. Good Lord, Josh Gordon. Uh, going to the perfect landing spot where they are in desperate need of someone to draw attention away from Tyree Kill, from Travis Kelsey, literally the only two viable pass catchers here. Who knows if Josh Gordon has anything? He was making highlight plays in whatever recent pop-up league he was joined in. The guy was one of the beastliest receivers to play this game the last time he had a full season. I don't think we'll ever see him get to that level. I do think it's probably fool's gold. But again, I love John Daigle's waiver wire report, one of my favorites to kind of research. He says in his, you know, life is very short. You want to have some excitement? You want to thrill? Just put the name Josh Gordon on your bench and go for it. He's more exciting than most of those names we are already talking about. And if there's anybody that could just explode into a true season changer, it's Josh Gordon. I'm not banking on it. I'm not going to – someone in your league might pay 25% of their fab and blow it off for a guy that's probably going to be fool's gold, just like they did with Elijah Mitchell when we said you shouldn't. That's probably going to be Josh Gordon this week. But still pretty damn fun if you can get him for cheap to just put him on the bench and let's see what happens, folks. One of the immediate usable compared to Josh Gordon, a guy – a guy rather, a collection of guys, the Bengals, facing the Jags this week. 12 fantasy points against Pittsburgh. They were on the road for that too. Now they're at home versus turnover-prone team that's given up the second most fantasy points allowed. 
I'd pay four or five bucks if you need a, an injection of upside. If you have a tough matchup or you're in win now mode, they're going to get you 15 points this week. Really like the Bengals D. They'll be in my top three of my week four streamers. Really just overall defenses facing the Jags this week. Solid unit getting after the, pre- the passer, you know, sneaky underrated corners. I really like the Bengals D against the Jags this week. What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments. Check out some more videos and join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below. Ooh.